This is Star Talk. We're back on Star Talk. This is the How Tweet It Is part. I love how tweeted it is. I got Bill with me here. We're just looking over tweets I posted and just find out what is Bill's reaction? What was I thinking? Did anybody else react? A lot of people it? wonder that. And it, <laughs> what was he thinking here you when, go. He, when he tweeted? Here it is. So here, after I saw the movie Interstellar, I had a whole a barrage of tweets. Yep. Commenting on them, highlighting the physics of it, this sort of thing. So here's one. Mysteries of Interstellar. Can't imagine a future... Where escaping Earth via a wormhole is a better plan than just fixing Earth. Well, this is what made it literally incredible for me. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, I never, you know, as we say in comedy, if you buy the premise, you buy the bit. Okay. I didn't buy the premise. The premise. I mean, I know people love no. the Interstellar. I know people that no. saw it twice. Wait, wait, wait. You agree that it, we could have blight on the crops. But my issue was not that there wouldn't be blight, but that why is it easier to launch a spaceship oh, through a wormhole? And go live on a, on a moon of Saturn. Where balls right. fall up. I don't want to give it too much away. <laughs> but it really is an extraordinary, and I think it gets back well, to wait, this. No, they weren't on a moon of Saturn. Saturn was where the wormhole was that got them to another part no, of the galaxy. No, but at the end of the movie, where were they? Oh, yeah, I don't know where they were. I yeah, think yeah, it was yeah, okay. a moon of Saturn. Okay. Uh, and it was troublesome anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the physics that we all know were, were radically changed. But, but there is an entire book published alongside the release of the movie called The Physics of Interstellar. Power to written me. by my colleague, my man. You know, you know who wrote it? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Kip Thorne. Kip Thorne. He was I a, saw Kip Thorne with uh, Kip, Carl Professor Sagan. of physics at Caltech, yeah. a specialist in cosmology and Einsteinian relativity. All good. And he was not only a science advisor, he was also one of the executive producers. Uh, all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. yeah. Okay, I'm just saying. But I'm not going to fly around for 72 relativistic years, years with Anne Hathaway's character without a little more something-something. Okay? <laughs> something-something. And then let me ask you this. Why are we what? driving? The corn is going to sustain all of us through some sort of genetic modification. You get all your nutrition out of corn. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C, uh, selenium, the Except whole Except whatever was in the beer that he was drinking yeah, on the, on the, yeah, on the front step. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, why, I don't know if you make beer out of corn. Why did we drive through the field for 10 minutes and then get the Indian origin uh, drone, drone spacecraft... And nothing was ever done. We just okay. dropped. I don't know. I don't a know. loose end. A MacGuffin. Like, what's going on, people? It was know. three hours. I, all, three hours. My only point of the tweet was Why comparing. Why leave the freaking earth, people? This is where we make our stand. This is what I say to everybody. This is the battlefield. It is. Battlefield just earth. This tradition of just go moving. You've trashed an area. Just move to a different area. Just expand. Just march it's okay, on. It's okay when you're on Earth because it's still Earth. Yeah, and you can breathe. You're right. But we're going to reach a point as humankind where just leaving the Earth is not an option. We're going to have to be better stewards of the environment. And dare I say it, Neil? The Bill Nye has spoken. Change the world! As he backs away three feet from the mic, not wanting to send the audio levels into the red. It's a, it's a radio trip. <laughs> this has we been... We professionals do this! <laughs> This has been How Tweet It Is on Star Talk. Join the conversation on Twitter at Star Talk Radio. I'm your host, Neil deGrasse Tyson, bidding you to keep looking up. up. This is Star Talk. Star Talk.